Where are we today, Jan? Uh, we're at Blissworth. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's the first time we've been out on a canal. We're not actually on a boat, but it's the first time we've been down to a canal for well, since our quite, uh, quite, 25th wedding anniversary. Yeah, for quite a while. So this is a uh, well, if we're smiling quite a lot, it's because we're quite excited about being out again. Oh, it just feels lovely. My stomach is churning. Yeah. And I, I think it's cemented the fact that this is actually what we want to do. Um, so, yeah, the fact that we're here on a weekend um, looking at boats, going on the Grand Union, going through the tunnel, um, just moored up. Um, absolutely, yeah, blown away. Um, makes and the it... weather's not even that good, but does it matter? No, no, no. Uh, as long as we get a chance to see some boats. Um, obviously, there's a marina here at Blissworth. Um, I think it's closed at the moment, so it would be nice to go around and have a look at some boats, but um, we're not quite at that stage yet. Um, no. And we've made some decisions about what sort of boat we'd like. Um, but yeah, well, let's go and have a look, see what we've got around Blissworth. Yeah, come on, let's go, I can't wait. the um, Blissworth, I think this is the wharf isn't it? Yeah I think so. yeah of course it is. Yeah it's um, an old wharf uh, and, and the sun's uh, come out. Hey because I think it's now been converted into um, luxury flats. I wouldn't want to live in one of those unless I had a boat myself. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. For... <laughs> <laughs> looking out of the window onto this. <laughs> somebody somebody did ask us um, one of the comments we got um, recently was what happens if you get too old to be on a boat? In other words, if you get a bit too infirm, you can't do the gate paddles, you can't control the boat or anything like that. And we'd already planned, or we have already planned that um, if anything like that happens to us medically and we can't, and we're forced off a boat and uh, we can't continue, then we've said that as long as we've got a property we don't mind renting somewhere as long as it's by a canal somewhere. Or um, you can just push me over the edge. Yeah. I'm quite happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, as long as we're by the water, doesn't matter what sort of water, it can be a river, a canal, if we can have a canal side property, um, that's great. But we're not looking... No, let's not go down those we're not, lines We're not yet. looking that far <laughs> advanced. Ooh, it's gone dark because we're going under a tunnel. Ooh. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, look at it. So, um, yeah, we're not looking that far advanced. The first bit we've got to do is get on a boat uh, and enjoy the next few years together. And, uh, wow, if the weather's going to be like this, I don't know it doesn't always, it's not always like this, then it'll be brilliant. Sorry, you've lost Jan, she's a bit short, bless her. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> she's there, she's there. Very busy today, it's a bank holiday weekend. So, uh, of course, there are a lot of boats out and the weather's nice. We've had some rainy days and storms. So, um, it's not been good for boating. It's not been good for anything, to be honest. Um, so. It's really weird seeing it from this side instead of on the water. Yeah. We, we haven't done that for years. I'm very jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell viewers she's jealous? If you've got a boat and you're living on one now. Oh, look at that little one. Tiny little thing. I think that's a... What is it? Pintail? That's a CRT work boat. Ah. Uh. It's definitely worth a trip into the village of Blissworth. The original land was owned by the 5th Duke of Grafton, 
who was responsible for the construction of many of the houses as he wanted to cash in on the industrial developments at the time, not least the canal. The Royal Oak is definitely worth a visit. New landlords have lots of plans for renovation and you can get a nice pint of IPA. The Church of John the Baptist here was built in 1825. So we've just gone down the road a little bit from, um, where were we? Oh, Blissworth. that's right, blimey. Right. And it, it took, it was only three miles and usually it takes, well in a boat, we've never done it but in a car, have we? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, so we've come down to Stoke Bruin, um, which on a bank holiday is quite a busy. Very busy, very busy. Very, very busy. Um, and there's boats going in the locks, boats coming out the locks. If you've never been to Stoke Bruin, it's home to the uh, Canal Museum, um, where you can learn about the history of the canals. Um, CRT, it's the Canal and River Trust, have got a base here as well. And they've got a couple of boats, including a trip boat. Um, there's a few out today, I've seen at least two of them out. Yeah. And uh, we are being gongoozlers today. Yes. <laughs> Not for long, I hope. <laughs> Gongoozling, yes. <laughs> And then, just as we walked around the corner, a higher boat's stern line had come out and the boat was halfway across the canal. Thankfully, a couple of guys on a neighbouring boat came out to help tie her back up. Can you shut the rope across, I'll pull it in. Yeah? Pin's come out, look. Yeah, it's lost its pin there. So. Get... Yeah, jump on the side and run down. On the roof? No, just down the side. Just down on the gunnels, I'll be fine. Should be okay. You're tall lad, you'll be alright. Yeah. <laughs> There's no blue boat there, so I know what we're doing, but... Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Moored up outside the museum, as part of their living history exhibits, is an ex-canal carrying company boat, now in the loving hands of the volunteers of the museum. Built in 1935, and with a lovely Lister engine, we stumbled upon someone to tell us more about it. Good afternoon, I, I'm Rob, Rob Westlake and I lead the team of volunteers that look after this uh, vessel, Sculptor, um, on behalf of the Canal and River Trust and the museum here at Sobrou. And this vessel was originally built for this Grand Union Canal in 1935, part of an order of 12 boats from the, North, from the Northwick boatyard. And uh, this boat plied trade, um, carried cargoes through this area, 
So Scorpio was, was built as a carrying boat, part of the Grand Union carrying fleet. And we have records of her carrying cargo from uh, Limehouse in London, through here, through on the Grand Union, and then out to the Whitworth's Mill at Wellingborough, uh, via the, the, the Northampton arm of the canal. But we've got records of her actually doing that trip from the health authority, because, because people lived on her, the boat had to be registered with the health authority, because it was a living accommodation equivalent to a house, so it had to have the basic facilities. But the cargo she carried, that's the only one we've got grain. That's the only one we've got real evidence of. But boaters, boat companies, didn't like to have boats moving around the system without a load on. So if you could get a back cargo, um, timber, certainly coal, um, but we, there are various records of various sorts of cargoes, including things like lime juice, roadstone, um, iron, but the hold is um, obviously the big part of the boat. The living accommodation is very small, but the hold basically on a motor can hold about 20 25 tons depending on the density of the material. And then with her butty, uh, a similar boat length, but obviously with no engine, which was towed behind, that would then allow you to carry a cargo of about 50 tons all in. So the juggernaut of the day on the M1 of the day. Sculptor carried cargoes through this area up until about 1938-9 when she was requisitioned by the fire brigade in London to act as a fire boat. Then from then onwards her history is a little bit checkered. Obviously after the war she came out she was used as a maintenance boat but from what we know so far and there's more to be found she's never really got back to canal carrying again. She's been used as a maintenance boat on the Shropshire Union. She came to the museum here in 1986 and has been here since and we try and look after on behalf of the trust to make sure she's here for everybody to enjoy. Nice towpath around here isn't there Jan? Well I think so. It's really good. Nice. It's nice and wide as well. <clears throat> Especially at this time of the uh, year with the pandemic and everything and you've got to keep your distance. You're able to on this towpath. It's really spongy on my feet as well. Oh, sun's trying to come through the, the trees. Oh, that's nice. The trees. <laughs> yeah, that's no, good as well if, you're, if you've got a buggy, push chair, something yeah. like that. There was a guy on a scooter before, but I think he needed to slow down a bit, but never yeah. mind. Yeah, there's enough room for everybody to move about. Yep. I did step to the side and I heard what the, the people on the boat, they were having for lunch. And I did hear her say, oh, I'm not very fond of sausages. <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> well. Has she got three kids? Oi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Right, well, we hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up for a like and subscribe to the channel, making new memories, and also some comments down below. That'd be great. And also, don't forget to ring the bell or press the bell icon. Ding! And then you'll be notified next time we upload another video. In the meantime, from Lisworth and Stoke Bruin, bye for now. Bye.